Hi, my name is Mike Hamilton, Director of Sales Engineering for Breaking Point Systems. Today I'm going to be taking you through a brief demonstration of how to use the Breaking Point Resiliency Score to perform device evaluation for network infrastructure. Breaking Point defines resiliency as the blend of performance, security, and stability that a device has when subjected to theoretical maximums. The first step is to select the device that we're going to be testing, in this case, an Intrusion Prevention System, or IPS. Once I've selected my device, I'm presented with a graphic showing me exactly how to configure the device under test. This allows us to create apples-to-apples -apples comparisons when evaluating multiple devices. Once I've selected my device, the next step is to reserve my ports. Now I'm just going to reserve all the ports on this interface card and make it nice and easy. Once I've selected my ports, I then select my device capacity. What I have in this particular case is an IPS that runs at 1 gigabit. Now if we had a 100 megabit or 10 gig device, we could select those. Or if we have a device in the middle, we have user defined. You can see there are four testing categories. Throughput, sessions, robustness, and security. And then there's the quick version and the full version. The quick version runs all four of those categories in short order, simply to provide a nice baseline, an idea for you exactly how the device is going to respond. The full version is what we're going to be running, and it runs the full battery of tests, and at the end provides the breaking point resiliency score. Now I'm going to name my report IPS test, so it's a nice and, nice and simple name, and then I'm going to hit the validate button. Now when I hit the validate button, a series of flows will be opened up through the device under test to make sure that the device configuration is correct, as well as the network connectivity. Once we've completed the validation process, we'll get a green checkbox saying that the validation was successful and we can now begin the full test. I simply select the run button and you'll see the initialization go forward. Now once the test starts, you'll see a breakdown of what a typical circuit board might look like for an IPS with all the various pieces of that product. In this case, network interface is being stressed and you can see the utilization and the performance levels of the network interface or the deep packet inspection engine or the session table and so on and so forth. Now this will run estimated time 15 and a half hours for this particular test. I've now pulled up the report that's output from the resiliency test. This particular IPS at 1 gig scored a 96 which on a scale of 1 to 100 is very good. Also on this badge you'll see the product build, the strike pack, as well as the date and the time. What that allows you as the user to do is recreate this particular situation against this device in the future or any other device that you want to have an apples to apples comparison against. Now you may ask what actually goes into the score calculation. We actually show you that in the synopsis table that shows the four categories and each of the tests that were run within that category. And then down here in the score calculation section we show you the formula that was used to calculate the score and then you can actually see how that all rolls up into the final score of 96.39. Now this score can be used again against any other device to make sure that the 96 is better than the 50 is better than the 30 and that's really a good way to do an easy introductory product evaluation to get up and running. Thank you for your time and as always if you have any questions feel free to contact us. Thank you.